or a weird and trippy record in a weird and trippy time. It was middle of the pandemic and I don't know. I think that there are a lot of things that always go into like why an album gets made and why, you know, I, I sometimes get drawn in certain directions creatively, but I was looking for escapism, you know? I was looking for something so outside myself and, uh, and I really found it in this fucking wacky kind of twisted world and, uh, of The Beautiful Liar and I really, really am so proud of us for, for taking the leap of faith and going there. And uh, it's quite a contrast to uh, this new record. I mean, I'm a Libra, right? I'm all about balance, right? I'm about balance, so we had to balance the scales out. This new record is very personal. It's very much not escapism. <laughs> I, uh, I wrote this record about growing up in upstate New York. I'm from a small college town in upstate New York called Ithaca. Oh, some of you guys know Ithaca? <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> um, but my, my town is so much a part of who I am. And the people in that town that raised me are so much a part of who I am today. As much as I fucking hated it when I was growing up there, as much as I wanted to get the fuck out of there as quickly as I possibly could, and as far away as I could possibly go. You can't, you can't ignore that part of yourself. Who you are is where you're from. And I'm from upstate New York. I'm an upstate New York boy in my heart. And I owe so much to that place and those people. And one person in particular, a teacher of mine, a mentor of mine, a man named Todd Peterson, passed away in 2021 and this, this guy just had such a huge impact on me. He taught me a lot of what I know about being on stage, you know, about performing. I did all my, my musical theater with him, you know. He was the first person who actually got me to go on stage and sing in front of a crowd. I was in fifth grade. I was terrified. I was, you see me here now on stage in front of you. This is where I was. This is where I was when, when I sang my first song. I was like over here. I was hiding. I was so scared. I was so nervous. But Todd believed in me. He believed in me before I believed in myself. We all need people like that in our lives. And you know, I had a very complicated relationship with him towards the end. I, 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 he he'd started to kind of deteriorate mentally towards the end. And, and, you know, like, like so many other people, you know, he, he had substance abuse issues, he had mental health issues that just were never properly addressed. And uh, it broke my fucking heart, but I just started ignoring his calls and texts. And, and you know, he would berate me, being like, why, would you, why don't you call me back, aren't you? Don't forget about the little people. And I would just kind of roll my eyes. And, and then, uh, you know, I got a voicemail from him right before he died. And he was just calling to tell me that he had heard our new song and, uh, and that he really loved it. And he was so proud of me. And it fucking broke my heart. And I, and I, I, was, I texted him, I was like, hey, Todd, I'm sorry, I missed your call, I'll give you a ring back. I never did. And a couple months later, he was gone. So I wrote this song for him. I wrote this for him and I wrote this for Ithaca, New York, my hometown. But it's not just for my town, it's for your town. It's called Your Town. Don't forget about 
about your town Don't forget where you came from so First you up and down Don't crash about your head And there's no one around Don't forget about the pain I was just another shy kid on a playground 